Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this lesson we're going to be teaching you a tune that I wish I could say was an old fiddle tune but it's really not. It's a tune that I wrote and uh, it's called Grumpy Sally. There's a story behind it. If your name is Sally the song is not about you and if you are grumpy it just may be. There is a story behind it but you are more than welcome to perform it, to play it. I would ask that you give me verbal credit for the tune uh, and that's that's really all. But feel free to to play with it, to share it. And uh, it's not a hard tune at all. There's really only two parts. And it's just repeated four times each. So uh, before we start, I want to thank my patrons who are giving to this program, making these lessons possible for everyone to receive the free lessons and just for them giving back a little bit. I do appreciate that. And I would recommend that you play the tune all the way through. Uh, before you ever attempt to play it. So, uh, in a previous lesson, I showed you an advanced strum where you're going out, out, back, back, out, back, out, out, back, back, out, back. I'm going to review this very quickly here, but it's out, out, back, back, out, back, out, out, back, back, out, back. And really what you need to do is at this point to get the rhythm of this tune is you really need to stop right here and make sure that you can play that strum pattern. So what we're going to do is start with our ring finger on the melody string at two and we're going to slide two to four. That's the strum pattern right there. And then we're not done. We're going to go bum diddy. So it's bum diddy. So here's the original pattern. Bum diddy. You're adding the bum diddy on there. Then you're going to put your pointer finger down on five and do a pull off four to two. With it, uh, with the ditty. So it's. Let me slow that down. So the original pattern. Ring finger stays down on four. Now you're going to do a hammer on four to five. So, hammer on. And you're still using that same pattern. So you're doing the hammer on, on that last strum, the out back, you take off, then you come down and you're going to do a hammer on, open to one on the middle string. So it's bum diddy bum. Repeat it. Repeat it. So that's part A and I, I really think 
if you're you just pay attention you'll get that rhythm that I could do it much slower than that. I guess I can. I varied a little bit there. By the way, I originally wrote this tune on Clawhammer banjo, and I will put that uh, in here towards the end so that you can hear it, or maybe I'll put a link to it, rather, uh, so that you can hear what it would sound like on Clawhammer, so that you get the idea for the original feel. So that's part A. Let's do part B. You're going to come down with your ring finger on the middle string at one. So it's... So you're still doing the same strum here. So it's again. Just do that much. Slide one to three on the middle string. Then you're going to slide again. So slide up, diddy, come come back down and do a pull off. So it's you're going to do a double pull off, pull off, pull off that bass string. Now, let me actually play that faster. actually also flat. I don't think it sounds as good flat pick but you could go I'm sorry let me do that again And I didn't repeat it four times. I just repeated it twice on each of those so that you could get the idea of how that'll sound.
So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Not a long lesson at all. Uh, like I said, uh, I, there, there is a story behind this. And uh, just if you're a grumpy person, just, just lighten up, I guess. And uh, But I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know, and I will uh, be glad to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Please share these. Help get the word out on these free lessons. Thanks so much for watching.